And here is the Writer's Almanac for Tuesday, the 31st of August, 2021. It's the anniversary of the death of the novelist and poet and automatic writer Elsa Barker in 1954, best known for her trilogy Letters from a Living Dead Man, a book of the occult which she said had been dictated to her by a man named X, whom she never saw and never met. It's the 64th birthday of manga artist Yumiko Oshima, born 1947 in the Tochigi Prefecture of Japan, a member of the Year 24 Flower Group, a group of women who have revolutionized shoujo manga, comic books for girls, bringing to these comic books issues of philosophy and sexuality and gender the first major entry of women artists into comics in Japan. Her titles include Paula's Tears, To Joker, Strawberry Story, The Star of Cottonland, which has been collected in seven volumes. 1422, on this day, Henry VI became king of England. He was nine months old, the only child of Henry V, In 1423, the year after he ascended to the throne, English nobles from around the country swore loyalty to this tiny child and also set up a regency council to make government decisions until he was old enough to do that. And it was about a century and a half later that William Shakespeare wrote about Henry VI, wrote three plays which were among Shakespeare's earliest. They were big box office successes at the time. These days, they're hardly ever performed anywhere, though they contain some quotable lines. It was in the Henry VI plays that Shakespeare said, defer no time, delays have dangerous ends. He said, suspicion always haunts the guilty mind, the thief doth fear each bush an officer. And Shakespeare wrote, smooth runs the water where the brook is deep. And it's the birthday of Maria Montessori, born on this day in Chiaravalle, Italy, 1870. Against her father's wishes, she wanted to study engineering, so she went to a technical school. All of her classmates were boys. After a few years, switched over to medicine, became the first woman in Italy to earn an MD degree. As a doctor, she worked with children with special needs, and it was through that work that she became interested in education. She believed that children were not blank slates, that they each had inherent individual gifts, and it was a teacher's job to help the children find those gifts rather than dictate what a child should know. She emphasized independence, self-directed learning, and learning from peers. And she was one of the first to use tables and chairs in the classroom that were made for smaller people. And after Mussolini kicked her out of Italy, she went to India and worked there. Here's a poem for today, some lines from The Merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare. The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as the gentle rain from heaven upon the place beneath. It is twice blessed. It blesseth him that gives and him that takes. Tis mightiest in the mightiest. It becomes the throned monarch better than his crown. His scepter shows the force of temporal power, the attribute to awe and majesty wherein doth sit the dread and fear of kings. But mercy is above this sceptered sway. It is enthroned in the hearts of kings. It is an attribute to God himself, and earthly power doth then show likest gods when mercy seasons justice. From Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice. That's the Writer's Almanac for Tuesday, August the 31st. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.